All right, guys, welcome back to Ride On University. We're doing our 101 lesson on first focal plane and second focal plane. You guys are going to hear these terms a lot when you're picking a scope. It's going to be nice to know what they mean and so that you can pick the right scope uh, for your application. Let's talk about first focal plane. This is uh, the hot one right now that everybody's using, and I'm going to tell you why it's a hot one that everybody's using. First focal plane scope means that my reticle inside of my scope it is going to get bigger and smaller with my magnification. So what that means is, if my target is getting bigger, so is my reticle. If my target is getting smaller as I decrease magnification, my reticle is getting smaller. Well, what's the point, right? Why, why is that important? That's important because all those little hash marks, tick marks, dots inside of my reticle are important measuring devices. And since that reticle stays in relationship to the target, Whatever those subtensions are, they're going to be the same at 4 power as they are at 20 power. So that's a pretty nice uh, thing to have. Um, downsides. Uh, it does get big. If you're shooting long distance, you know, your reticle's getting bigger as your target gets bigger. There could be field of view issue. Could clog up your vision a little bit. So second focal plane, let's talk about that. Uh, second focal plane is the opposite. So my reticle is not going to change in size or relationship to my target. Um, upside to that is it stays nice and thin and crisp, which, which I like as for long range shooting, I love a nice thin crisp uh, reticle. Um, potential downsides in my opinion, uh, mainly for hunters, I worry because here's, here's what happens with a second focal plane scope. Let's say that there's two minute of angle hash marks inside of my 4 to 20 hunting scope. Well, whenever we list subtensions or anyone lists subtensions, it's on highest power, so it's on 20 power. So we've got two MOA subtensions on 20 power. Well, what happens if I don't need 20 power and I'm on 10 power because I need to back down that magnification while I'm out hunting? Well, what is going to happen is those two MOA hash marks are now four MOA hash marks, and it is going to work as my magnification decreases those subtensions are going to get bigger and bigger in that fashion. This is important to know because if you think you have a two minute of angle hash mark, but you're on 10 power and it's a four, you could potentially miss. So it is good to know what kind of uh, focal plane scope that you're picking. And those are the reasons why. Thanks.